All right, welcome everybody. Here we go. We got this month's numbers for our multifamily. This is our investment uh, market report. We did the single family last week. We've got the investor coming up this week. We got lots of good things going on right here. So if you're an investor, uh, whether you're new to the game or you're a seasoned investor, look at your portfolio. This is where you want to be because we're going to be sharing the newest numbers where they keep you up to date with everything. My name is Chris McMahon. I am a local investor. I'm also a real estate agent here, but I've been started out investing in uh, rental properties in about 20 years ago. So, And then I've done some fix and flips and everything since then. So if you're in the game, you're looking to try and increase your portfolio or you're new, you're just trying to learn it, subscribe to the channel, follow it out, see how I can help you out. So, I mean, I've got investor access to uh, lenders or contractors, which you're going to need. I also got access to some off-market properties that have not hit the MLS and nobody knows about. So get in touch with me uh, and see how I can help you out, grow your business business or even just get you started into the business here. But other than that, we're going to jump into this here. We're talking multifamily properties right here. So uh, two units plus. We're going to break this down um, by county in the capital region. If you're looking for something more specific than just county, let's say you're interested in Saratoga Springs area, Albany, Glens Falls, something like that, that you really let me know. I can do your own private video and get that information and numbers out to you. But this video is really just meant to kind of give you a general overview of the area specifically. Uh, so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea, but I can really get that down to a micro level for you. If you reach out and get a hold of me and I can put those uh, numbers together for you and send you a video on your own. But let's get on here. We're going to share the screen. We're going to go through. We're going to start off with Saratoga County. We'll get to some of these numbers that have come out for this month. Um, and again, like if you've been following me for a while, you see I do these videos monthly, you'll see that this triangle hasn't moved a whole heck of a while. We're still here in Saratoga County. Um, and it's still in a seller's market, which is been a trend for quite a while now. Most of you know that. But months of inventory, we've got a little over two months, which actually is up. It's up about 38% month to month. List of sold has dropped some. It's at about 97 and a half. List of sold days on the market. We're going to just over a week for days on the market with a median sold price of 260000 which has dropped 25% uh, month over month on that one right there. But let's slide right down here. So we, you've heard me talk about these. We tend to be below the New York state average, well below the New York state average, but over the national average as far as how things look, as far as our median sales price. So the median estimated value is right about 334000 up 4% month uh, from the last month change. The 12 month change is up almost 20%. We're at 18.9%. So that's the 12 month change in Saratoga County. So going up in that direction, this is just our graph over the last year. New listings. So we're up 30% new listings. So we're seeing properties pop out here on the market. We're up to 17, which is up 30%. We can see that trend right here has gone up. From March, it jumped up to 13, and now it's up to 17. So it's still trending in that right direction. Average is about $152 a square foot, $6.5 million in total volume and that whole thing. And the median list price is about $350,000 for the Saratoga County. So now these are just the new listings that we're talking about. Let's go down here. We're going to take a look at our active listings that we got. We were currently right now, active listings are up 35% to 23%. Days on RPR is about 37 days. So it's where we'll get it over a month that they're on there. $124 a square foot with $12 million of total volume. So the number of properties has increased though from April. It's gone up. So we're seeing a slight increase in the total number of active listings too. So it's been on a downward trend since August of last year. So this is the first month since August of last year that we've actually seen that start to come back up. Um, so make sure you subscribe because next month we'll see if this uh, trend continues through June's numbers here. But the median list price is three hundred, they're almost three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars for our, all our active listings. So, so pendings. What do we got for pendings? A right? number of eleven pendings, which is exactly the same as the previous month. So it stayed about the same as we got on that. Those days on the market uh, for those pendings have been just under a week, and it looks like an average of one hundred about one hundred seventy-nine dollars square foot. So there's just over. Well, actually, yeah, $4.3 million in total volume in that right there. And the medium list price that we got on this right now is $370,000, which is up. So sellers pay attention to that. So that medium list price is up 15.6% uh, from the previous month there. So 
pendings. We got 24 pendings, which has dropped a little bit. We got just under $10 million in pendings going on there. That's slipped down a little bit too. Um, and the median list price there is 370000 But we're kind of seeing this it's ever so slightly. It's still on the rise. It hit a low right over here, like about in November. And those pendings have kind of been kind of slowly working their way back up ever since then. Um, sold listings, we had seven sold that last month. Um, let's look right over here, the number of properties. So we had 11 properties right here, which is up from April. So again, we're seeing that increase, came down a little bit, now it's sliding back up, 260 million. So list to sold price, it's about 97.5%. So getting up there close what they're looking for. A little over four million dollars in total volume and our months of inventory as we said earlier just over two months of inventory going on right now uh 38 percent change since last month's almost 39 percent, but down 54 percent from the 12 month change so we can see right up here august they were at four a little over four and a half months of inventory right now we're at just over two months of inventory as far as it out is out there so not a lot of competition if you're the owner investment property and you're thinking of selling it there's not a lot of competition out there because we're seeing this low uh month of inventory as compared to what people are uh the demand that is out there for these properties as well so and we're gonna that's gonna wrap up what we're gonna cover for Saratoga. Let's go over here. Let's talk about Albany County. So let's put this in here. Albany County multifamilies. Here we go. So this is looking familiar. That triangle hasn't changed. Still in the same spot right there. But they're just under two months of inventory. Um, about a month and three quarters. List sold price is ninety nine point seven percent. So almost a hundred percent. They're averaging 14 days on the market and about 240,000 is roughly the medium average for that. So medium estimated property values are 282,000, which is up almost 3% for last month. The 12 month change is almost 14% for the 12 month change. So both of those are trending in an upward direction for that one, as we can see, these lines are pretty similar to what we saw in Saratoga. It's kind of how we see it in this area. We're above the national average, but below, way below the New York state average in Albany County as well. Uh, so no, our new listings, for our new listings right here, we got about 275,000 is the medium list price. 72 new listings, so that's down 5% touch. As we see right here, we were in March, it dropped a little bit into April, and it's going to drop slightly again, but not a ton. I mean, it was 77 to 76, down to 72, so it's really kind of level. It's only dropped a couple, nothing to really get overly concerned about here, but averaging $121 per square foot, and we got just under $20 million in volume for new listings. Active listings, let's take this and we'll get it all together here. Active listings, we've got to almost 280000 for the median list price, 103, which is down 16%. So Albany peaked over here in October over the last 12 months that we're looking at right here. And it's still trending in that downward direction, but it peaked in October with 235 and now we're at 103 listings. Uh, 58 days on March, almost two months on the market, $124 a square foot with just under $30 million in total volume for active listings in Albany County. So our pendings right now, 250 is the median list price. Our pendings are 75. So the pendings are up 27% month over month. We see that spike right here. April is 59, pair is 75. So it looks like some people are out there looking to buy properties, right? So because we got more pendings, right? But our inventory is going down. As we look up here, this is our active listings. Our inventory is going down. But we got a spike right here with the number of pendings. So again, if you're looking to sell, this may be a good time for you to do that because it looks like we got some demand out there. And if you want to see what you can get for your property, again, get a hold of me. My information is below. Call, text, email, whatever it is. I can do a property evaluation for you, give you an idea of some things you can do to increase so you can maximize the amount of money you can get for your property. It can also give you some, again, let you know about what you can get on for the market as well.
Um, so we're actually about one hundred ninety dollars uh, a square foot here. Days on the market is about a, well, ten days, so a week and a half or so that they're saying on the market. Uh, pending listings, two thirty five is the median list price for our pendings. One hundred seventy eight right now, currently, which is up eleven point three percent. Fourteen days on the market, we got thirty eight. That was thirty nine dollars worth of uh, worth of volume. $96 a square foot. Again, this is staying consistent while we were just looking at the big last chart. Nice little spike right over here from April into May to our 12 month high, actually over here at 235K. That's for the median list price. But as far as the number of properties go, same thing. Trending up here, 178 from 160 the previous month as far as our pendings are going. Um, sold listings, we have 50. That was a drop down 2% though. So that lags a little bit behind the others because it takes, you know, six to eight weeks generally to close on a property. So be interesting to see how this number changes over the next couple of months. But 240 is meaningless price. It's getting nine, almost 100% of the average list to sales price. Two weeks on the market with $107 per square foot on average. And we got $12.5 million in total volume in our sold categories for that month. Uh, supply inventory, we said that about uh, 1.78 months, which is down 18.7% and down 47.5% over the 12 months. So interesting, Saratoga is on the rise, Albany is coming down as far as that's concerned. So now let's go up here. We're gonna check out, we're gonna get Warren County. We're gonna go through our numbers for Warren and we're gonna end up with Schenectady. And finish up with that one. So, okay, so our trend for once. This is much closer than Albany and Saratoga was to a balanced market that we got in here. They got a little over four months of inventory. 98.8% was sold price. They averaged 10 days on the market. And the median sold price is $270,000 in Warren County. <clears throat> All right. Familiar. Looks the same. 237 is the estimated value, median estimated value for the properties right there. It's up uh, one point one and a third percent from last month, 10.2 percent over the 12 months. So increasing uh, in pricing range right there. New listings, we have six, which is down. It was 10 a month before, $123 a square foot with just under $2 million in total volume. So there's not, it's not as populated as an area as opening in Saratoga. You got you just get into the Adirondack Park here. So things get spread out. Um, Glens Falls is pretty a good area with the number of rental properties. And uh, also there's some, uh, some multifamilies in the Lake George area as well. So coming down, we got active listings, 21 active listings right now, which is a drop from 25 on the previous month, as you can see from April into May. Um, list price is 459,000. We got $9.5 million of total volume, and it's about $179 a square foot is the average, which is up 11.2% month over month. New pendings, eight. So there's eight new pendings, which is a big jump. That's gone up 60%. About a month on the RPR, 127 on square foot, two and a half million dollars of pendings currently right now at 270, uh, 271,000. We'll say we'll round that up for the median list price in that category. And the pendings, pendings are 13. They went quick with five days on the market, three and a half million dollars of volume at about 270 is the list for a medium list price. Um, the, those properties, those pendings, second month on the rise. So started at eight, went to 11, and now is up to 13. So here's our solds. We have five, which is up 150%. So it's down to two. It's up to five right now. Uh, 270, we got $1.3 million of volume at $121 a square foot. And our month of inventory, as we talked about earlier, a little over four months, 18 down 18.8% and down for the month change and down 26% for the 12 month change. So our last one we're going to check out here, we're going to check out Schenectady.
There we go. Schenectady County. We'll go through this triangle pretty much dead center in that seller's market. Uh, a little over two and a half months of inventory. They're getting 102% list to sold price, so over 100% for what they're selling. Staying on the market for about a month in the medium sold price is about 237.5 for Schenectady County. Uh, real quick, medium estimated property value, 243 which is up almost a percent from last month, up 22.7%, the 12-month change in Schenectady County. So things are definitely trending upwards direction. This is looking pretty similar to the same as our other counties. So no real change right there. Um, new listings is down. It was 39, down from 41 in April. But the medium square foot is up 18.6% to $121 a square foot with about $11 million of total volume. And the list price, the median list prices that we're seeing here is $260,000, up 8.6%. Active listings is down a little over 4% to 67. You see right here, they drop. They were up here when we hit January 04. It took a dive. It has not really come back up since then. But it's dropped slightly right now. We're at 6% or uh, down 4.3%. We're at 67 properties. Staying on the market almost two months at 50 days. $114 square foot, $16.5 million total volume. As we see over here, about $260,000 for the medium list price. Uh, new pendings, 31, which is up 14%, 14.8%, I should say. Six and a half million dollars of volume, um, with about a hundred and one dollars for the medium square foot price, which is down 13 percent. Pendings 75 pendings, is, so we're looking at this right here. This trend is pendings have been up third month in a row again, over 16 million dollars of volume at 108 dollars a square foot. The medium was price is about 230,000. Sold listings stayed exactly the same at 23, so hasn't changed too much right there. Again, here's that list of sales price, 102.02%, which is up $114. We got about $5.5 million in total volume. Month of supply, over 25 which is down 5.4% from last month and almost 57% in total on change. We see that big dip right here that we just mentioned right here. So that has come down. So um, that is our overview for the counties. Now, again, remember, if you have a specific area you really want to get down there, like the city of Schenectady, some of that Niski, Yuna, Albany, Saratoga, whatever it is that you really want to get in and know exactly, feel free to reach out, get a hold of me. I'd be more than happy to do your own personal video and get that information out to you. But again, if, you're, if you want to learn how I can help you out, Reach out, get a hold of me, call, text, email, whichever it is. My information is down below, and I look forward to talking to you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video.